Hey, Keller Williams, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer, and I'm back with another DocuSign lesson. Seems like that's all anyone's been asking me lately is DocuSign, so I thought I would uh, put up another video for you guys. It's kind of similar to the seller's disclosure, but this week we are going to talk about lease applications. Yeah. So what are you going to do when you're in DocuSign and you need your tenant or your potential tenant to fill out a lease application, or if you have more than one tenant that needs to fill out a lease application. Well, stay tuned because that's what we're gonna do right now. So if you're not already in uh, rooms.docusign.com, get in there and get into your room so that we can add these documents. And in a previous videos, I have showed you how to add your NRDS ID. We are not gonna go over that again. If you need to see that, then go ahead and head on over to the video I put out last week on the seller's disclosure. That will show you exactly how to do NRD and your NRDS number and to add your association so that you can get all the document libraries that you need. So once you're in your room and you've added your people, you need to make sure you've added your tenants to your room. So I've added mine, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. You, if you don't know how to do that, you just click invite, enter this information, and then click this blue invite button. You'll do that for every client, tenant that you have. Once you're there, you're going to click on documents. Then you're going to click on the blue add button. Click on DocuSign Forms. And then in, we are still going to go down here to the Texas Association of Realtors Library or you can do the closing for lease, but I like to do this when we are uh, searching for a particular document. I am going to type in application. And I didn't even have to type the whole word and it came up. I already have this document in my, in my room. It says in use. So if you do not, you're just gonna click in this little square and then click add selected and that will add it to your room and then I have a ton of documents in here so I'm just scrolling through to find mine residential lease application here it is so you can click in there on that document you can make sure that you have the address filled in. You can fill in the move-in date and all this information. You can also go to page four and fill in their name, or you, you can leave that blank and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Do the address and then you can also fill in whoever is going to be running their application. You can put that there or you can leave it blank. We're gonna click save and close. And then now I'm going to run through the steps on putting this in an envelope and getting a tenant to sign it. So we're gonna click in the top left of the document to select it. We're gonna click create envelope. We're gonna call this the name of the applicant and we're gonna name it lease application. I actually have lease application in the room I'm going to click add a recipient and then I'm going to also click on pre-tagged roles. Tenant one is the only thing I can select. And then under the recipient, I am going to click on the actual person that will be filling out this document and click add selected. The signer pops up. Everything looks good on that. I'm going to click next. And now you see my lease application has popped up. This information is stuff that I could have filled out in the room and there's not a field on here because this is information the agent can fill in. The rest of the information the tenant needs to fill in. Now if there's something you want them to fill out, you can click on the form or click on the field in the document and click that it's a required field and DocuSign will make sure that they do not submit this document back to you without, sh uh, without filling in that actual field. So scroll down, make sure everything looks correct. All the fields are there. Everything looks good. 
I like it, looking good. And then here on this page, I'm going to drop one field in and put the applicant's name there. That way I did not put that there on the actual form in the room because this is gonna change in my next envelope. So right now Mickey Mouse is filling this out. Everything looks good. I'm gonna click send. And then that's gonna take me back to my envelopes tab in my room. And you can see Mickey Mouse lease application is waiting for others. I'm gonna go back into my documents. I'm gonna go find that same lease application. Boom. I'm gonna click on create envelope. And I'm gonna do this again for each tenant that I have to fill out uh, the lease application. And remember, anyone over the age of 18 must fill out a lease application for residential leases through um, in Texas. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click Add Recipient for Pre-Tagged Roles. Again, it's going to say Tenant 1, and I know we just did this for Mickey Mouse, but in this envelope, the first tenant that's going to be filling out the document is now Minnie Mouse. Click Add Selected. Everything looks good. I'm going to click Next. And when it comes up, the only thing that I should have to drag and drop is the name of the tenant. Good. I'm going to go scroll into the last page here. I'm going to drag over that full name. And it looks great. And I'm going to click Send. And that's it. You're Tenants should be able to get these applications and each one of them will fill them out. And once you've gotten it back, it'll turn green and show completed. And then you'll have those completed documents in your room. That's it for today. Hope you uh, learned a lot about sending lease applications with pre-tagged roles. If you want more videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.